All right, we learned that to evaluate, we're just going to do some substitutions or replacements. Well, here's my function, and I have two um, inputs, so I'm just going to take this problem and write it twice. Okay. T of t equals one fourth t plus one. I'm going to write it twice. G of t equals one fourth t plus one. So that looks kind of weird when you see two letters there. This is your function notation. And this is your hint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this above my inputs. G of t. G of t. This is the same. This is different. In this input, it's telling us replace every t value with negative 24. Replace every t value with negative 24. Let's do that. G of negative 24 equals 1 fourth times negative 24 plus 1. I have a fraction times a whole number. Cost, how do I make that a fraction? Put a 1 under it. And then we're just going to multiply across. G of negative 24 equals, cos what's 1 times negative 24? Negative 24. And 4 times 1? And then here we're just going to do our uh, order of operations, right? We did multiplication going left, right, and now it's division. So negative 24 divided by 4? Negative 6 plus 1. And negative 6 plus 1 is? Negative 5. So my answer is g of negative 24. My input is negative 24. When I put it in there, I got negative 5. Remember, you can make that as an order pair. What's my order pair? Negative 24. Comma, negative 5. So this is our first answer. Okay, let's go ahead and try that second example. What do we know about the second problem? Do you see what you have to do as your clue? Write it above. Everyone say above. above. That way you can see as a clue, t is going to be what value? 100. 100. Let's do it. g of 100 equals 1 fourth of 100 plus 1. G of 100 equals, um, that's a 100. How do you make 100 a fraction? What's in my numerator? 100 over 4. 100 divided by 4 is? 25 plus 1 is? G of 100 equals 26. And therefore, my order pair is 100, 100, 26. So for function notation, you're still doing a substitution. You're essentially evaluating. The only difference is we have this thing called function notation. Place it above it, above your input as a clue, and it tells you what to substitute.